backpacks are a great way to transport items and it gives you hands-free access to be able to get to your pack if you need to but then carry the things that you need and it's not limited just to rural areas also suburban and really heavy in urban areas a lot of guys are carrying their backpacks with all their necessities in it whether it's an EDC whether it's business uh, going to work there's a lot of reasons to have a good backpack so today we're going to take a look at a new pack that I have just found out about and it's called the Kanai Pro Gear Legion uh, this is a full day pack it's 21 liters and it's a really cool pack but what's really nice about this is it's really affordable and yet it's got a lot of great quality the dimensions of the pack are 19 and a half inches in height they're 11 and a half inches in width and six inches in depth. Uh, this is just right to me for what I use most of the time. Uh, a little bit bigger pack, I tend to leave it it's just really big and bulky. Uh, a little smaller pack, sometimes I really can't get enough gear in there. And these day packs to me are just the right size to keep handy, at least in your car, if you're going to work and you're leaving it stationary. Uh, it just gives you a really good base to work from with all your needs inside this bag. As I mentioned, it is 21 cubic liters of size, and it weighs 2.9 pounds. Uh, so it's very handy, and then of course when you add your gear, <laughs> the weight changes. Now the pack's made of actual DuPont Cordura, uh, and it is a fairly thin mill. Um, and what I mean by that is it's really soft and easy to carry. It maneuvers, it's really comfortable on your back. This is probably about four to 500 denier. Uh, it doesn't really say that, but just from looking at it and all the feel and the experience I've had so far. Uh, you have molly attachments all along the back here, and then of course on the sides, uh, a lot of molly, a lot of area to put extra packs and things for molly attachments. Now you have a front pocket right here, and uh, it does have a hook and loop field. You can put whatever you want to on there. There's also a pocket up here for sunglasses and it really gives you protection. It is hardened so it's going to keep from you know allowing it to be damaged. It has pockets on the side uh, with a D-ring and of course this allows for you to put your standard water bottles in here, Nalgene or whatever you use, uh, the quart size. So it's really applicable and it also has a, a grommet at the bottom. And has another pocket on the other side to be able to put whatever you need to in there. AR-15 magazines are one thing that they actually recommend. And again, you have your D-ring. We have compression straps on either side as well. Um, the buckles themselves are really strong, good solid buckles and I really like the way they look. They snap, they are Duraflex. But one of the things I really like, because a lot of times you get the uh, extra just kind of hanging out, and they've set it up to where there's a little Velcro keeper at the end. And you can just roll this out, and you can adjust this however, and then when you're finished, you can roll it back up. And it really makes this very tight and very tidy. The grab handle on top is rubberized and it goes across the webbing. Uh, very well done. And of course, another D ring. They really believe in D rings, which I like. Uh, you have your box etch stitching right here, and this gives you a lot of stability, especially with grab handles, because that's one place that you can rip these. And when we get inside, I'll show you the underneath. This is really stitched well. Shoulder straps are padded, they're very soft, and of course, they're tapered to fit just right around your neck. Uh, you have some keepers here that are just webbing, more D-rings. Here I just have one of the Olight uh, S1 batons attached on here. They do have a mesh here to keep things cool and it also very soft, very pliable. But one of the things I really like is this sternum strap. And the sternum strap actually adjusts all the way up. And it has a little track right here and you can wear this wherever you want to. A lot of times it's riding right across the top of my chest and I don't necessarily like that. I like for it to be a little bit lower and so this allows you to be able just to adjust this very quickly and easily and yet there's enough tension on here to keep it in place. There's also a whistle built into the buckle. I hadn't quite mastered that yet and I don't know how good that is. But that's it. <laughs> The back here has a really nice padding. Uh, it has the closed foam inside, and of course it has these areas right here to let air kind of flow through. Uh, that really makes it comfortable. It has a really great look to it. Now here we have a waist strap, and I use this only when I'm really going on a trek. If I'm hiking out and I've got I'm out all day with the pack on me. 
uh, but one of the things about that is it just has something hanging down. One of the things I really like about this pack is that right here you can tuck this away. Then also just tuck this away on the other side. And then it rides right at the lower part of your back. You don't even feel it. And of course with the closed foam, this really gives you a lot of comfort. Then if you need it, you can just pop it out really easily. In fact, it's a lot easier to pull out, even though it's not very difficult to attach. Snaps right into place. And of course, it's a large Duraflex buckle and also those really cool keepers with the Velcro. Uh, and then this really, again, just keeps it really tidy. Now here on the bottom of the pack, we have two straps. You can put a bedroll there, you can put a sleeping bag. But here, this also has a rubberized bottom, which really helps to keep this uh, from soaking in. And you have a nice grommet right here that has actually a little filter on it. Uh, but I thought that was a really nice touch with the bag. Now this front pouch here, it has YKK zippers. One thing I like about these pulls is that a lot of times you'll have a, a, just a knot tied in paracord and that can come undone, which has happened to me a thousand times. Uh, and then it has a rubberized keeper to keep this in place. Uh, of course the YKK is top notch zippers. And then this just double zipper so it unfolds down and reveals your first pocket. Here we have a nice mesh pocket. I can see all the different items that I have in here, uh, be able to get to it because a lot of times when I'm looking through my pack, I forget what I put in certain places and just a little survival kit and a right and a rain pad. Um, here I have one of the dark energy uh, battery chargers. These things are great. And then down in here, we have two pockets uh, that can fit a lot of different things. And then we have a zippered sleeve. And this zippered sleeve is really deep. In fact, it goes all the way to the bottom of the pocket. So there's a lot of things that you can put in here. And we have a little keeper to be able to put items on here, whether it's your keys, or for me, I have a little light in case it's dark and I can't reach my flashlight. It has a nylon interior. Uh, it's a different color. It's this blue color. It's a really nice contrast with the standard black. Uh, but also you'll notice right here is a little small port and you can put your iPhone in here, run your cables out and be able to listen to music with uh, protecting your phone inside or whatever device you have. Here again we have the hard pouch. Open it up. Uh, this has a felt and this is Velcro compatible, a uh, little lining. This is to help protect your glasses so you don't have to keep them in a case. And uh, it's really soft, ample. I mean, I could almost fit two pair of glasses in here with no problem. Again, YKK zippers and this small little keeper. Now getting into the main part of the compartment, you have two zippers. Uh, this is a great feature right here. It has this kind of curve that naturally comes down and you can stop and open up the pack right here to be able to get the things pretty quickly. Uh, I think that's a pretty cool feature because we're going to lay this down. Now I can take and pull it and I can open this all the way out. And so this gives you full access to your pack. Uh, we have a, a mesh little pocket here, a little bit larger than the front one. Uh, I can see what I have in here. Uh, and then of course this is my sunglass pouch here which you know it's still covered in that nylon from the outside. This is underneath the grab handle. You can see the box etch stitching, uh, very secure, and this is like triple quadruple stitched. Uh, this also has that felt lining all the way in the top. Here also in the main body is also that felt lining. And uh, of course you can put a lot of items. Here we have tie down straps uh, to be able to secure whatever. And I have a, a raincoat or a little bit of a jacket in here. I can just fold it up, keep it secure, and then get to other things all around. And of course these straps are fully adjustable. But in the back here is that nylon material. So you've got that. It actually makes it very slick to pull in and out. And it does get pretty deep in there and there's a grommet down here at the bottom. Now right here in the top, you can open this up. You can put a hydration bladder in here or you can put a ballistic panel or whatever else you want to. You can put a notepad. Uh, you can definitely put a small, a little electronic device like a, you know, an iPad or you know, even a 15 inch computer. And I think that's the width that this will go. Uh, and then this is padded on the other side and it's padded right here. So it gives you protection. Plus the pocket ends about two inches from the bottom. So if you happen to get water in the bottom of your pack because of that grommet, uh, you're gonna have some protection for whatever you have in here. 
One thing very useful too about having this kind of hook and loop field is you can put panels that have Velcro backing right here and be able to pull and take those off, including extra magazines, uh, little pouches, admin pouches. So that makes a great feature having this inside. Here I have everything packed back in. Just bring it over, zip it up. Good to go. Now we're going to take our shoulder straps and get them out of the way. And back here we have a concealed carry pouch. Uh, you've just got double zippers. These are also lockable. There are little holes here to be able to put a small lock through there. Bring this down, open it up, and you've got your concealed carry right there. Uh, they do have on their website a holster, uh, but I just use one of the Maxpeditions Universal holsters. It does have the hook and loop field back here, and again, that nylon here, so it's going to help really protect. And again, you've got that really heavy-duty foam, and you've got it here. And if you need your concealed carry, it's real easy to pull it out. Uh, I typically don't keep a concealed carry in my bag. But there are times where, you know, you really need to go kind of more deep cover. It's easier to conceal this in a bag or if you want an extra firearm. And you can also put mag pouches with the Velcro lining back here as well. And one thing I will note about this Velcro is it's not super strong. Um, it holds okay. And, of course, there you can see it does just fine. But uh, when I first put it in, it would flop around just a little bit. After a lot of practice with it, messing with it, it does seem to hold up pretty good, but I would really like to see this a little bit stronger, but yet it will protect whatever you have. And you know, when you're pulling out your firearm, you really need to have a little more strength. But I pulled it out a number of times and it seemed to have held in just well. Now the Kanai logo is stitched right into the pack. It's a vinyl patch. It's really neat, but there's a little story behind the word Kanai and where they got it from. Uh, Kanai was actually a battle fought between Carthage and Rome back in about 218 BC. And the, the uh, Carthage army under Hannibal came in against the Romans and defeated them in one day. Uh, Eisenhower said it was the greatest battle ever fought and that military leaders should really study that battle. They surrounded the Romans and they just totally annihilated them. Uh, so that is where this came from, which I just thought was a pretty cool, interesting uh, background. Now guys, you know there's a ton of different type packs out on the market, and really you need to find one that just suits you. Uh, you know, whether it's the, the heavy denier or just the amount of pockets in it, uh, but one of the big advantages of the Kanai uh, Pro Gear Legion is the price. Um, I think they retail for $129, but I found these in a number of places for $99 and less. And for a good, solid, well-designed pack, I think that's a, it's a really great price. Now, how would I compare this to the Maxpedition? The Maxpedition has a more, it's a more thicker, dinnier. Uh, it's a little bit stronger, and, but the price reflects that. So if you're really looking for a really strong, heavy-duty pack, you know, I'm a big fan of Maxpedition, have a number of those packs. But if you're looking for something a little less and yet has a really good, a lot of good quality features in it, uh, the Kanai Pack is great, and for $99, it's really difficult to beat. So check out KanaiProGear.com, and a great little pack, and I'm going to have to give this one a big thumbs up. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic. Seems like here lately, everybody's carrying a bag. Kanai Legion, and this is Kanai. Back, you don't even feel it. And of course, with the close, it has a nylon webbing. Right. Now here we have the Kanai Pro Gear logo, and the right here on the outside of the pack, we have a vinyl. Uh, right here on the outside of the pack, we have a vinyl Pro Gear. Okay. Now the Kanai Pro Gear patch is there's a vinyl Pro Gear. Kanai Pro Gear patch. Uh, this is symbolizes uh, one of the places. 
and having some meanings behind you know the companies I think that's a pretty 